I'm Jordan Drake. Uh, I'm 32 years old and I'm a camera salesman slash apparently cinematographer now. So cinematography is uh, creating the look of the film, so uh, where the camera's going to move, but especially how we're going to light a sequence. I'd just been doing commercial work and a uh, web series for about a decade and hadn't done any filmmaking like a real story-driven movie, but a friend of mine came to me with this opportunity, said, hey, I'm shooting something, we can't pay you, but it'll be fun, do you want to try it out? So the project was a really small, low-budget film that my friend Levi directed, and we shot out in Hazar, which is this amazing small town that almost no one knows of, even though it's right down the road from Calgary. And because Metanoia takes place largely at night, it meant I could really build a location from scratch, like this barn that we're in right now. Uh, you can see here, I could make it look like a really imposing, intimidating, kind of a haunted house kind of vibe. So I'm determining how the movie's gonna look. The director is gonna be talking to the actors, thankfully I don't have to do that. Making the movie structurally exactly how he wants it, but it's my job to make things pretty on set. So I actually grew up in a small town, uh, Strathmore. My parents were farmers, um, but not terribly happy ones. Uh, they eventually got out, they're realtors now. But they were always, I kind of felt like they were pushing me like, go find something you're passionate about that's not the farm. We want you to escape from this plot of land. I kind of stumbled into filmmaking in high school, even though you'd think the only classes that they'd teach at a town like that would be like gym and farm. I really fell in love with it, but never went to school really for it. I kind of helped other people with their own films. Really didn't focus on one particular skill. And then when things really started changing is when I started at the camera store where I could shoot and cut and edit and direct our own YouTube channel. I think when I was younger, I kind of made a choice. Um, I said, I'm not gonna do any movies right now. I'm gonna focus on the camera store TV and my family. And uh, of course, my family was growing. I didn't really see myself falling back into filmmaking until it literally fell on my lap when Levi, well, Levi didn't fall on my lap. It was not literally at all. <laughs> the movie hasn't been screened publicly yet, but I did send a copy of it to the Ampia and they just had their award ceremony recently and totally, I was completely shocked to be nominated in the first place, but then wound up winning Best Cinematographer for this movie, which after kind of giving up that part of my creative life was pretty amazing. Yeah, I think filmmaking is something that I'm going to swing back around and start doing again once a year.